Okay, so that was the uh, East 34th Street heliport. They just had three helicopters come in, uh, including that S92 helibus. So now we're just going to go ahead and see what else there is to film. At this time of year, at this time of day, localised entirely within First Avenue. So you've got one of these uh, NYPD wreck trucks coming down. Uh, these are pretty cool to see. Cobra lights construction vehicles. National Guard civil support teams. So tucked away in amongst all the tall buildings on 34th Street, you've, uh, you've got this nice little church. It's the uh, Armenian Evangelical Church. Uh, I just think it's quite a contrast to all the skyscrapers, office blocks, apartment buildings. It's a little gem of New York City.
there's the Chrysler building on 42nd Street. Uh, that was the tallest building in New York City, the grand total of one year uh, when it was built in 1930 and was then taken over by the Empire State Building in 1931. Okay, so of course, probably the most famous building in New York, the Empire State Building. Uh, that was completed in 1931. And that actually remained the tallest building for a little bit longer than the Chrysler Building uh, until the 1970s when the World Trade Center took over. Okay, so here's a particularly interesting sculpture of Van Gogh. Uh, this is one of several sculptures along Park Avenue by the artist Bruno Catalano. And my poor guy is missing half of his torso. There goes Tower Ladder 21. You know, we really haven't actually seen that many fire trucks so far on this trip to New York. So of course that leads us to the Empire State Building at 5th Avenue and 34th Street. For many years it was the tallest building on the skyline. Um, then after 9-11 it was again one of the tallest buildings. Uh, but now it's beginning to disappear behind some of these more super tall skyscrapers they got going up in Midtown. Like that one just there. And also that one just there, which uh, we, we showed you in that video the other day, that was 520, uh, I think it was 520, 5th Avenue. Okay, so this is Herald Square, uh, probably the busiest spot on 34th Street. Uh, but I think it's quite a nice alternative compared to Times Square at the nearby 42nd Street. One thing you do see on most intersections in the busiest parts of Manhattan is the traffic agents. Uh, 
transit emergency vehicles. They respond to incidents on the uh, the subway network, and uh, they try and deal with the situation, get it up and running as quickly as possible. Ice cream. So it looks like they were just at a call and they've now got another emergency call. I think we're going to have to leave the area though because there's someone playing music. Um, we know YouTube's going to give us hell about that. Looks like someone's just getting arrested. Not sure what the uh, arrest is for, but yeah. 34th Street's quite a busy tourist area, so all kind of things happening along here. All right, so we're just coming up on Pennsylvania Station right now. Um, Penn Station, as it's better known. Uh, this was actually quite a grand building uh, at the beginning of the previous century. And then in 1963, they tore it down and built this office block on top of it. Uh, most of the train station is underneath now. So this is pretty much going to be where we finish the video. Uh, we had actually intended to get some stuff at the United Nations today, see if anything was going on. Uh, but when we got there, there was nothing to see. So we figured we'd just make it into a video about 34th Street, since I was, you know, on that street. Um, and then when we were walking along 34th Street, uh, Marine Helicopter Squadron 1 actually went ahead and did a re rehearsal of the downtown Manhattan heliports uh, ahead of Biden's trip on Monday. Um, so we actually missed that, we were hoping to get a video of that, but it is what it is. We'll just have to get Marine One on Monday. It's going to be a very busy week, United Nations General Assembly. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.